hello everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another fsr 3 video in this video we're going to use the fsr 3 in ratchet and clank rift apart so i have not activated the mod right now and i am currently running on 1080p dlss quality our dlss is on quality and rest of the settings are on high the ray tracing options are off because I'm using an RTX 2060 and it's not really an RTX capable card. My FPS is around like uh, 50, 60, 70 when looking at this way, not much textures. So yeah, that's about the before testing. Now I will begin the mod. First I'm gonna quit the game. Uh, one thing I have to tell you that this game is updated to the latest version at the time of this video which is 1.9.2 or something uh, let me check if you want to update your game I will put a link in the description which will which will uh, let you update your game by version by version uh, okay yeah it's on 1.9.922 uh, i will put the update link in the description if your game is not updated update first because not updating the game makes the game crashing more frequent after that uh, after updating your game go to the link in the description below which contains the files for fsr3 mod ratchet and clank fsr3 mod download this one after that extract it to any directory uh, and copy everything in this folder then open your ratchet and clank installation directory you can do that by right clicking on the desktop shortcut and clicking an open file location paste everything in here it's telling me to replace because I have already pasted everything after that do one thing double click on this enable Nvidia signature override don't click on disable just click on enable click on yes after that this is a little tricky part be with me i will show you step by step so let's begin first uh, right click on this dlss tweak.ini go to open with and open the file with notepad after opening the notepad uh, i need you to go the middle section of the text like right here and find a line called other dlss such as frame gen find this line then come to the bottom of that line and click on before the semicolon thing or what you call comma uh, delete this semicolon from here and select this whole path and delete it also don't delete the space uh, just delete the text file don't delete this space after that go to the installation directory again uh, click on the address bar and right click and copy the path of your installation folder bring up the text file again and paste the path uh, after the space don't delete this space this is important after pasting the path come to end of the line and press a backslash from the keyboard this key and again minimize or side the text file then go to the installation folder again and find dlssg dlss tweak wrapper dot dll uh, right click on the file go to rename select the whole name including the dot dll and copy the name don't rename or don't delete anything in it just copy the whole name including the dot dll click on outside go back to the text file again and where you have previously put the backslash just right click there and paste it okay so the text will something look like something like this okay so you need to delete the comma from the first and paste the path including the dlss tweak wrapper don't delete this space also after that 
click on file click on save now you are good to run the game now i will show you um, the fps difference you can skip ahead a bit if you want to because it will take some time to load up the game So we're back at the same place again uh, i'm gonna go to setting after that display and there as you can see the frame generation has come up which is fsr 3 but it's working as dlss frame generation after turning it on click on apply change and come back to the game now as you can see previously it was around 60 and 70 now it's like 90 100 so the tutorial is fully working and this is it and if this video help you do subscribe to the channel guys i'm putting a new fsr3 video every single day and doing much effort as i can uh, so now i'm gonna stop talking and play the game a little bit to show you how the fsr3 is working and i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy the video guys thank you